uh, I think it's been both positive and negative. Everything's a lot more accessible, but then it's hard when the internet crashes at school, which tends to happen a lot. It can be both a positive and a negative because it is um, preparing us kind of for the future because the future is headed towards technology. But the negative is that a lot of us can get off task and not do our work. It's kind of an issue of whether you can tell someone's not using technology for a beneficial reason or if they're just goofing off on their computer. Like if they have their phone up, you don't know if, whether they're on their calculator or whether they're on Instagram. Sometimes other people in your groups don't have technology at home, you can't afford it or just broken laptop or something like that. Sometimes kids use it as a toy and not a tool. Uh, when used correctly, it's a powerful tool. And so they're not carrying around these 80 pound backpacks so they can keep a laptop or use one in the class. So it helps us stay organized, Google Drive especially, because you can keep all your forms and papers on there. You don't have to worry about getting the papers crinkled or losing a paper because it's all right there, saved on a drive automatically. I noticed a lot of kids' grades have gone up since we started using it. I get to do things with technology that I didn't know I was very capable of, and I get to edit things, and I get to film things, and I get to do voiceovers, and I get to do all these things that are really centered around technology. Kind of expand my horizons in that sense, which is really cool.